uh, ended by, by speaking of a vision of, of a unified Jerusalem. But like you said, today it's not so unified. You have East Jerusalem and West Jerusalem. You have Jewish, uh, more Arab uh, side of Jerusalem and the Jewish side of Jerusalem. Um, what would be a practical step, in your opinion, for creating a, a more unified uh, a city of, of uh, coexistence? I think, I think this is a political issue. And I'm a judge, so I'm not answering political questions. So I can be free of the answer because of that. But I will try to, ask, to answer you. I think that we should not talk about Jerusalem as a place who we would like to unite. I think that we should look to Jerusalem as a place which is, can contain different people from different religions, from different nations, which people can come together and while they still different, and we, tis, the, the difference is very important for Jerusalem itself as a city which is holy for the God first of all and for all of us second. Thank you. Uh, would any of our other panelists like to uh, respond to that as well? Uh, thank you. Um, uh, I have some doubt whether I should speak up. Uh, uh, what should a secular Jew say about uh, issues which have uh, a deep theological background in Judaism and in Islam. Uh, I, I'm not a lawyer. The lawyer in the family's drawer sitting here, so I should be very careful. But you are lawyers, mm -hmm. so let me uh, think for a moment outside the box, because I've been encouraged by one aspect of what Dr. Zaharka has been saying. Uh, usually we say that it's easier to find compromises between two national movements, and it's much more difficult to find compromises between religious groups uh, when they speak in the name of uh, divine providence or that. But perhaps we should think politically, and I'm speaking now as a political scientist. I mean, we know that the Jerusalem issue and the Temple Mount issue, Kotel issue, is the most sensitive issue, both for Jews and for Muslims. It's obvious. But perhaps by thinking outside the box, we should realize that for many Israelis, I mean, the Temple Mount is not negotiable. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the majority of Israeli Jews for whom the Temple Mount has a meaning, but they are, are aware, of course, of the Muslim presence and the Muslim relationship to the Temple Mount. And perhaps for those Israelis, it may be very difficult when we come to negotiations, if we come to negotiations, to imagine Palestinian authority on the Temple Mount. I think most secular Israeli Jews will be very uncomfortable about them. But I think that perhaps many of them would be ready to consider, and I'm using my words very carefully, to consider some sort of Muslim presence, not necessarily territorial and legal in international law, but the sort of things that Israel was ready to accept in the peace treaty with Jordan, when Israel accepted that they, when it comes to the final status of Jerusalem, Jordan has some standing. I'm not sure what's happening now in Saudi Arabia, and I'm a little bit uh, worried. But if Saudi Arabia is moving towards a more moderate form of Islam, as Prince Mohammed bin Salman is saying, if this is going to happen, and I'm not sure, perhaps many Israelis would be ready to consider some sort of Saudi, Jordanian, Muslim presence because the Temple Mount is not a Palestinian issue. It is a Muslim issue. And it may be, I know it sounds paradoxical, that Israelis who may not accept Palestinian sovereignty on the Temple Mount may be perhaps willing, if we think creatively, to accept and recognize a Muslim presence which may be then represented by Jordan or or Saudi Arabia, or even the Conference of Islamic Countries. I know this is this lo looks now completely crazy, but I would suggest that all of us who think legally think about possible legal instrument that may make this possible and may overcome the issue, which is like squaring the circle when it comes to Israeli sovereignty or Palestinian sovereignty. So, if somebody of you uh, will go home and think creatively about that, perhaps 
can this can help in the future. Thank you. Thank you.